what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel all right so we have another led upgrade video i know i have a lot of these videos um a company by the name of oxito sent me a set of light bulbs and i'm gonna try them out on this ultima here that i purchased now this ultima has a little backstory to it but that'll be coming up in another video what i am actually doing with this car i'm not gonna be keeping this car but i got a couple of things i gotta do to it before that video and then i'll we'll go anyways that's a future video but today we're going to be doing an upgrade on the lights and i'll be showing how to replace them even if you don't want to upgrade them how to just remove the bulbs out of this car now on the ultima you can't get to the lights through here because there's way too much stuff here and or over here there's a giant frame right here pretty much the frame of the vehicle is there so on this car you're gonna have to go through the fender liner now Two ways you could do that. One way you can leave this level like this on the ground and turn the wheel all the way in and try to get your hand through there. You gotta remove some clips. Same thing on the other side. In my situation, I have a spare tire on the passenger side already because the tire went flat on this side. Now I already have fixed the tire, so I just gotta put it back in. So I'm gonna be removing the wheel on this side anyways, so I might as well do the same thing on the other side and it makes the job a lot easier. Now, the bulbs that go for this car are H11s. And of course, this is what they send me, the H11 LED. Now, according to this, it's got the highest brightness, very easy to install, 0.1, second, 0.1 millisecond start time, fast heat dissipation, and of course, it's for off-road use according to this, but I don't think this car has any off-road capabilities really, so we're just gonna be upgrading them to, you know, making them look nice, instead of having this yellow halogen bulb that, and you guys kind of already should know how I feel about halogen bulbs, so we're gonna just be replacing these headlights. So let's go see what tools we need for this job and then we'll get started on this job. You're gonna need jacks and jack stands to get the car up in the air. A 21 millimeter socket to remove the tires. A Phillips head screwdriver or a driver with a Phillips bit. And a flat head screwdriver or a push clip removal tool if you have. Okay, so let me show you guys something real quick here. With this LED lights, and I've never seen this before, they send you a pair of gloves nice white gloves because you can't touch the bulbs with your bare hands or i should say the diodes not the bulbs but the diodes with your bare hands some zip ties of course and a allen wrench this is going to be probably to adjust everything I've seen that before your instruction manual and of course your lights right there now they have their own little ballast if you want to call them that so these will work out great but yeah uh i've never seen somebody send you it's a pair of white gloves, so I think pretty cool. So, and again, you're gonna need two of these for each headlight, high beam and low beam, if you're doing your low beams and your high beams. If you're doing just the low beams, then you just need one box. If you're doing high beam and low beam, the high beam is H11 or the H9 and the low beam is an H11, which is pretty much the same bulb setup. So let's go ahead and get this car going and get this installed. You're gonna remove the front tires and take your 21 millimeter and take all the lug nuts off. Once you do that, we're gonna concentrate on this plastic piece here. This section right here highlighted is what you wanna get out of the way. To do so, you're gonna remove three screws at the bottom, right here, and then a plastic push clip. Use your screwdriver to remove the push clip, and of course, your Phillips head to remove the three screws. Then you're gonna just pull back on this and just basically put it behind the caliper. That'll hold it in place. Once you get that, you got access to the light bulbs. The driver's side bulb you can see right here, that's the low beam, and the high beam is actually tucked all the way inside, and it kind of reach your arm inside of there. To unplug them, just turn them clockwise, and then pull back on the tab of the connector, and you'll be able to unplug it. Same thing on the high beam. The high beam's a little bit harder to get to, but still manageable. Be careful not to pull on the wires too much because they don't have a lot of slack. Now on the passenger side, it's pretty much the same for the low beam. So go ahead and just turn it kind of clockwise, unplug it and pull out the bulb. For the high beam, that is a little bit different on this side. You're gonna go up top, you're gonna basically find your washer filler neck and turn it counterclockwise. That'll release the neck, and then you're able to kind of fit your hand in here, and it's a tight fit, but you're able to get the bulb out. If you really want to, you can loosen up the 10 millimeter bolts for the coolant reservoir, but you really don't have to. Just kind of go in there, and you'll be able to basically, again, turn it clockwise, use your fingers, and then pull it right out. 
Now to plug in the passenger side high beam, you're gonna wanna drop the connector on top of the other connector, the factory connector, and kind of guide it with your fingers. Then with your two fingers kind of push in with your thumb and you should plug it in. Make sure you test it before you basically install it into the housing. When you're putting it back in the housing, you can actually look through the lens and you're able to see exactly if you're putting it in right or not and which way the actual bulb is facing. Once the bulb is installed, take the filler neck that you remove, there's a small notch in there. Insert that notch into the small little hole and line them up, push it down and turn it clockwise. That'll lock the neck in place. To install the rest of the lights, it's pretty much the same thing you did basically before. Go ahead and put in the bulb first and then plug in the connector. Now, this comes with zip ties and stuff, so if you guys want to zip tie everything and make it nice and neat, go ahead and do it. I didn't do any zip ties, it's kind of just left everything hanging there. No big deal, everything is covered up and everything underneath there. Quick tip when installing the high beams or the low beams, mainly the high beams. You should be able when you're installing, especially the one on the passenger side. If you go in here, you can see the light bulb in there, or the light. And remember, just they always gotta be facing at nine and three. So the actual diodes have to be nine and three, side to side, not up and down. Cause that way the light spreads out to the sides, not up or down. But anyways, on this light here, on the high beams, you can actually see if you're, you're messing with the light up here, you can, if you look in here into, through the lens, you could see the position of the tabs and kind of basically position them properly to be able to get the light in there and secure. So that's a quick tip for this car. Uh, same thing's gonna happen on this side when you're in here and messing with it. Now the only problem here with this one is that you can't see it from up here because you can't get your hand anywhere in here for this light. So you're gonna kind of have to feel out, but this one again, there's more access and there's more room for this side. Okay, so this finishes is installed. Pretty much, like I said, everything else goes back the same way you took it off. Put in the low beam and the high beam on the driver's side, and then basically put everything back together, the screws and the push clips, and you're good to go. All right, so now we're done with the lights. Let's check it out. Everything's put back together, wheels, everything. So let's turn them on. There we go, look at that. Beautiful high beams, high beams work. So let's take a look at them, how they look on the front there. They look a lot better, of course, than the halogens, a lot brighter. Look at that. Love it. All right, and it, wouldn't, it was very easy. The only one I say was any kind of difficulty was probably the passenger high beam, and that's because you don't have enough slack to bring that wire up. So you kind of have to drop all the wire in and basically kind of feel around to, until you get it in there properly without bending the tabs of the new light and then make sure your clips on. But again, easy to do. Took probably less than half an hour to do the lights. Nothing to it. Um, I will have the link for these lights down below with a coupon code. If you use that code, you get 15% off as well. So you guys know, so that link will be down below. Now these lights so far from looking at it, I've done a lot of LED lights and these lights actually look pretty bright. So I'm gonna test these lights out for the next few days here and compare them to even my Forerunner and see if maybe I might even switch out on my Forerunner and go with these. Now these are Oxito, again, that's the website. I have it down here below. Again, with a link straight to the lighting and of course a coupon code that you get 15% off any lights that you buy in there. Okay, so that is the end of the video. If you guys liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.